There's some misconceptions about some things that are stated in Matthew 16. Namely, that uh, some say thou art John the Baptist. Okay, but Peter says, um, thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. And then Jesus says, blessed are you, uh, Simon bar Jonah, flesh and blood hath not revealed it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. He says, that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church. Thou art Peter. But, you know, Peter, of course, you've maybe heard, means little stone. It's not exactly a rock. A rock and a stone are a different thing. Okay. So, um, Jesus wasn't talking about him, building the church upon him, which the Catholic Church foolishly believes that, you know, that was the case, and that Peter, they called him his first pope. And that's nonsense. That's idiocy. When you read through this passage... In uh, you know your your regular Bible, not the chronological Bible. I mean, this is the King James Bible and it is God's word. But this passage ends with verse twenty of chapter sixteen. And if we were to go into a testament here and continue on, you'll see that Jesus then calls Peter very shortly thereafter, Satan, get thee behind me, Satan. Okay, some person for you to base your church upon if it's based upon Peter, huh? So let's go into this little testament here, and it says. Uh, from that time again, Jesus you know, Peter took him again to rebuke him, saying, Be it far from thee, Lord, this shall not be unto thee. But he turned and said unto Peter, Get thee behind me, Satan, thou art an offense unto me. For thou savorest not the things that be of God, but those that be of men. And we'll more than likely read that. Actually, I know we will, because in the next section it starts with verse 21. So we're going to read that coming up here. Um, so anyways, that's a misconception. What is the rock that God will build his church? The rock of Peter's testimony. Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. That is the rock upon which the church is built. That is number one belief. Thou art the Christ, the Messiah, the Holy One of God. You have the words of eternal life, Peter also said in another passage. Thou hast the words of eternal life. That's in John 6.60. 7 or 68. See, then he says, For flesh and blood hath not revealed it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. So, why would you give credit to the flesh of Peter for, you know, having the church built upon a rock of Peter? No, that's wrong, okay? So then carrying on, now this is kind of an interesting thing too. Um, he says he'll give them to the, the keys of the kingdom of heaven. That's why in those uh, little, you know, stories about Peter meeting people at the pearly gates, because it supposedly, you know, opens the doors for him. That's also a misconception, but it's just, that's why the people use that. I'll give it to the, the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Okay, as I said, I'm going to be doing 876 of the Chronological Bible coming up next.